previously on Electro Boom. It's beautiful. Go up. <gasps> Hi, I'm going to show you how to drive a subwoofer speaker like this to create the water experiment I showed you in my previous video. It's not easy to drive a speaker like this because it demands lots of power. This is a 6 ohm speaker and to create decent vibration I need close to 1 amp current to run through it. So I can't just plug it into any audio jack. I need a power amplifier circuit. This is the schematic of my simple power amplifier. I discussed the circuit more in my website, but in general it amplifies both voltage and current without noticeable audio distortion. Let's put this together. I've purchased the components and I'm going to solder them on my prototype board here. Now you need some skills to use a soldering iron. One of them I've developed over years is to sense the temperature of the iron, feeling the hot air rising from the iron by the skin above my lips. The skin here is quite sensitive to temperature and you can tell the temperature quite accurately. This is not the best way and you might like to try a safer way. Oh, and don't drop the iron on your pants. It's almost finished now. Just need another piece of wire. <laughs> when doing something else, always put the iron down. Now the circuit is ready to be turned on. I designed it to work with plus 6 volt and minus 6 volt supplies and for that I'm using a 12 volt drill battery. You might say that it's not exactly a plus minus 6 volt supply, but let me show you that most drill batteries come with this extra contact which is the center voltage of the battery. So I define that at zero and the positive of the battery will be plus 6 volt and the negative of the battery will be minus 6 volt. Okay, let's power it up and see what happens. Oh sh! What did I do? What the f did you do? I'm fine, thanks! What? Every battery has a positive and a negative contact. Never connect them backwards. Oh, and if your circuit starts smoking, unplug it quickly before anything else. I've rebuilt the circuit and we'll turn it on now. Nice, no smoke. Oh, sh**. I need a signal source now. We need to generate an accurate tone for the water experiment. There are different ways to generate the tone. One of them is to take a lab signal generator which is quite bulky and uncomfortable. Or the other way is to design your own tiny signal generator, if you are an idiot. I'm sorry, what I'm trying to say is that it's not worth the trouble. Nowadays everyone has one of these smartphones and all you need to do is to install a signal or function generator app on your phone and voila, it's a signal generator. Also, I'm sure everyone has broken headphones. Just cut the jack with wires and solder it your circuit like this and you can plug it into your phone. Let's turn the tone on. It works. Here is the speaker vibrating at 31 Hz. It looks as if it's moving very slow, but the grains of rice show that it's actually moving pretty fast. Sometimes the components get quite hot supplying lots of power. Let's see. It's not too bad, but you might want to install a heatsink on them to avoid damage. I can even play music from it. Always turn the soldering iron off after you're done with it. 